Hello, my name is Will Langer and I'm a surveyor from the Country Land and Business Association and I'm based in our southwest region. I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about public rights of way during this crisis that we find ourselves in, but also for the future when life goes back to nearly normal. We all understand the importance of nature on our mental health and well-being and the countryside has a lot to offer. I want you to enjoy it responsibly and safely. The UK has a fantastic network of over 140,000 miles of rights of way at the disposal of the public and at this time of need it's great to see people getting out and enjoying it. However, there are some things that we need to be more aware of when walking footpaths in the countryside. Firstly, if you haven't heard of it, please Google the Countryside Code. It's a great source of information that can help you enjoy footpaths safely and responsibly, understand the different types of way markers and also what is best practice as a walker. Please leave gates as you find them. If they're closed, close them behind you. If they're tied open, leave them open. There could be livestock in the next field that you can't quite see as they're over the brow of the hill. So please consider this as it is a working environment for farmers producing the country's food. Please also be aware of the risk of your dog near livestock, be it sheep, cattle, or even horses. Make sure you have them under effective control throughout your walks and be mindful to remove any waste that they make as this can cause horrible illnesses in livestock. If you come across a farmer who is moving stock, please do follow any instructions they give you so that you are kept as safe as possible. As highlighted in the Countryside Code, please do take all of your litter with you when you're walking as any animal, both wild and livestock, could consume it. It also detracts from the environment that we all enjoy. Make sure you keep to designated footpaths and follow signs to keep you on track. And lastly, during this time, please do adhere to the government guidance on social distancing and exercising with people only from your own household. Let's all work together and enjoy this network of footpaths responsibly and safely. Thank you.